social anxiety and general anxiety disorder have been relentless companions on my journey through this life. Their presence has plagued me for countless years, casting a dark cloud over even the simplest of tasks. At 22 years old, I found myself in a somewhat brutal situation, or at least that's how it felt to me. It was the prospect of stepping off of my motorbike, removing my helmet, and venturing into a supermarket, something seemingly so simple. At the time, this filled me with an overwhelming sense of dread, something only true sufferers of anxiety disorders can actually relate to. The incredibly simple act of entering the store felt like an impossible obstacle, and the weight of anxiety bared down on me like never before. But I had to venture inside, there was no other choice. As I made my way towards the entrance, an eerie feeling washed over me. It was as if I'd become an otherworldly being, an alien heading into a realm that was unfamiliar and intimidating. The faces around me began to blur, and my mind struggled to focus on the simplest task at hand. I knew I needed to pick up essentials like bread, cheese, and maybe some chocolate for my girlfriend. She'd really like that. Oh, also of course, importantly, toilet paper. It was all on the list. After having navigated my way around the supermarket, trying to avoid the glances and stares from people, I headed to pay for everything at the front of the store. Every step I took towards the cashier felt like a monumental feat. My legs felt like burdened lead weights, making each movement a chore. I became acutely aware of the gazes of those around me, or at least that's what my anxious mind convinced me of. It was, after all, self-consciousness taking a hold once more, and it felt like everybody in the store was scrutinizing my every single move. Standing in line became an excruciating ordeal. I found myself yearning for an escape, wishing the ground would just swallow me up whole. Yet, of course, that didn't happen. I had to stand with my overwhelming anxiety. Every moment felt like an aeon passing me by. Eventually, a surprising and subtle shift began to take place within me. The waves of anxiety that once crashed upon me with relentless forces began to recede. Sweat still poured from my skin and ran down the back of my neck, but with each passing moment, I realized that grip of anxiety was loosening. The simple act of reaching the cashier's desk became a triumph in and of itself. In a moment of awkwardness, I placed my items on the cashier's desk with clumsy gestures. But amidst the anxiety, a spark of humour ignited within me. As I glanced down at the items strewn in front of me, I suddenly realised that the toilet paper I had picked was in fact a pack of sanitary pads. Instead of feeling mortified, a slight chuckle escaped my lips. The tension that once consumed me gave way to a newfound acceptance of imperfection. With a somewhat renewed sense of self-assurance, I paid the cashier, exchanged some awkward glances, and made way to the exit. As I left the store, a sense of triumph surged through me. I had conquered my anxiety, even if just for a brief moment. It was a small victory of course, but it was one that held great significance to me. The journey to overcome social anxiety is not a linear path, but as depicted in this instance, it's one triumph to build on and then move forward with. And from then onwards, with each small victory, I continued to challenge the boundaries of my anxiety. Step by step, I broke free from the chains that once kept me captive. The road ahead is paved with uncertainties and obstacles, but I face them with newfound strength. Each experience teaches me the power of embracing imperfection, finding humour in the awkwardness, and refusing to let anxiety define my life. As I embark on this journey of empowerment, I know that I am on the path to reclaiming my life and finding freedom from the clutches of social anxiety. But wait. Is there really a self at all? Is my consciousness separate from yours or the person down the street? Hmm.